Something that I both like and don't like is the series Ben 10. It's a series that has been going on for a long time and has had a lot of different new generations of its storytelling going on as the character of Ben has aged and grown up from being an obnoxious little kid to being a um, overconfident young adult. What I never liked about Ben 10 was what it was in the beginning of the series. When Ben was an obnoxious little kid with a huge ego and tons of powers and he kept bragging about how awesome he was and even the commercials plugged him as a superior superhero to the Teen Titans because while Teen Titans was a team of five superheroes, Ben 10 was one person with 10 powers and that made him twice as awesome. Not to mention the fact that he has 10 powers and his name is Tennyson and his rival is Kevin Eleven and you know, just the number puns was too much for me and I could never get into it. But then we have Ben 10 Ultimate Alien and some of the other ones that came after that when Ben was a teenager and Kevin was a good guy and Ben's sister was dating the former bad boy. That's when things were getting interesting. The sister had magical powers. Ben had new characters to face. He wasn't limited to just 10 powers. He had a whole array of interesting aliens that he did turn into. The stories were deeper and more complex, and the writing was more interesting. The characters were more interesting. There was uh, romance and drama and all this other stuff going on, and uh, Ben wasn't the annoying, bratty little egotistical kid that he was. The little Timmy Turner, Johnny Test style character who never learned a lesson. He was now somebody that could learn and grow and evolve who he was and become a better hero from learning from his experiences. Then in Ben 10 Omniverse, Kevin and Gwen leave the series. Ben is on his own, uh, except he's not on his own because he has a new partner, Rook. And Rook is the typical alien who's out of place and doesn't understand the way Earth works. So he gets English phrases wrong and, and funny stuff happens. But all in all, Rook was an interesting character. And during that time span, Ben did meet interesting new aliens. And he had interesting adventures. But also, during that series a lot of really stupid stuff happened and a lot of the writing went back to being cliche and obnoxious and annoying and way too predictable and stupid and it took a lot of the fun out of the series. Uh, characters like Thunderpig were just pop cultural references turned into aliens. Unlike the enjoyability of Doctor Who being Doctor Who as a horse, Thunder Pig being Lion-O the Thundercat as an alien pig was just an alien dressed in Lionel's clothing with his hairstyle, shouting catchphrases, and not having any real personality or motivation. Nor was he any real threat. And Ben 10 Omniverse repeated this sort of bad writing and bad characters throughout the series. He did have some awesome crossovers with other shows that are no longer around and throughout his own timeline, which was interesting to see. But more often than not, annoying background characters 
the equivalent of snips and snails, got the spotlight, and did really stupid stuff for the sake of pointless, painful comedy. I really did not like Ben 10 at its beginning or at its end, but at its middle it was something great and amazing and highly enjoyable. And I really longed for the moment when it would return to that level of enjoyability, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. I don't know what will come out of the series reboot that's been rumored and going around, but I'm personally going to wait impatiently for Ben to return to his teen slash young adult years when he's matured into a more interesting character who's learned from a lifetime of lessons rather than being that uh, overconfident rookie who's never lost a battle and doesn't understand how important saving the world and being a hero truly is and what it truly means to be a true hero. Young Ben looked at being a hero as just being a guy with awesome superpowers who could get into any fight and never lose. The older and wiser Ben got, the more he understood that to use the cliché quote from a better superhero, with great power comes great responsibility. The older Ben learned that being a hero meant putting others first and seeing to the needs of other people before himself, realizing that there was a possibility that he could lose and that way too much was at stake if he lost and having the bravery and courage and commitment to follow through with saving the world even if it meant possibly losing his own life as long as the lives of others were saved. And even though older Ben never got faint by the public, the fame and glory of the superhero life was never important to him. And thanks to the multiverse, which was oh so interesting, we got to see many different kinds of Bens and how his life would have been different if had he allowed the fame to go to his head, or if had he continuously lost battles, or if had he been a female instead of a male. It was very interesting to see that multi that multiverse stuff play out. And the other thing about Ben 10 is it's something that hardly anyone on the internet talks about. There was one person who was doing reviews and that person hasn't posted in a long time. I've never seen anybody do reactions to the series except for one guy. He's still on the annoying seasons. Uh, the seasons do get better, and that's what I'm waiting for. And even then, the Ben 10 episodes are hardly uploaded. There's just not a huge fan base of Ben 10 reactors, reviewers, and analysts. Perhaps, maybe someday, there will be. Anyhow, I've said my opinions on the series. Take it for what it is. And again, that's just my opinion. If you disagree, there's nothing wrong with that. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you haven't seen the series, go give it a try. Anyhow, thank you for watching, and good night.